And when you start going through the names of the who's who, Bob Dole, George Bush, Ross Perot, they're all members of the Masonic Lodge. Now, what's the big deal about that? The big deal about that, one of the big deals, actually, it turns out being a little deal, but it's still a pretty big deal, is that when you join the Lodge, you take an oath. It's a sacred oath. You know why you know it's a sacred oath? It's because it never comes out what the oath is. If it wasn't sacred, everybody would know. It wouldn't mean anything, would it? You say to a Mason, you say, you took an oath to support the Constitution of Freemasonry, even if it's opposed to the Constitution of the United States, the United States of America. Didn't you? Oh, no, I'd never do that. Never took any oaths. Well, you see, Masons have taken oaths to lie to you. Now, what kind of honesty are you going to get out of a man who's taken an oath to lie? Hello? Not long ago, we met a 32nd degree Mason. He told us he didn't take any oath. Okay, so you lie. In the first degree, in the first degree, they say, I, Congressman, of my own free will and accord in presence of Almighty God in this worshipful lodge of free and accepted Masons dedicated to God and held forth to the Holy Order of St. John to hereby and herewin most solemnly and sincerely promise and swear I will always hail, ever conceal, and never reveal any part or parts, art or art, point or points of the secret arts and mysteries of ancient Freemasonry which I have received, am about to receive, or may hereafter be instructed in to any person or persons in the known world except it be to a true and lawful brother mason or within the body of a just and lawfully constituted lodge of such not my father not my mother not my sister not my brother not my daughter not my son not my dog plus he's a member of the lodge in the third degree the mason promises he says, further do I promise and swear, I will obey all regular signs, summonses, or tokens given, handed, sent, or thrown to me from the hand of a brother Master Mason. Furthermore, do I promise and swear that a Master Mason's secrets given to me in charge as such, and I knowing them to be such, shall remain as secure and inviolable in my breast as in his own when communicated to me, murder and treason accepted, and even they left to my election. You wonder why these congressmen run around with their pants down, then pull their pants up and protect this one and protect that one and hide this guy away, give this one his retirement fund, get him out. It's always going to be a cover. These guys have taken an oath to cover. There is no Republican Party, there is no Democratic Party, there never was a party except for the Masonic Party. There is no ABC, there is no CBS, there is no NBC, they all came out of David Sarnoff's RCA, who was a Mason. In the seventh degree, he says, The oath, I promise and swear, I will not wrong this chapter of Royal Arch Masons. Later on, I further promise and swear I will not speak evil of a companion Royal Arch Mason behind his back nor before his face, but will apprise him of all approaching danger. And you'd better do it. <laughs> 